We were at Alaska Bagel Restaurant this morning yep. to get bagels because Adam has been teasing these since last summer. We never came. So we came today for breakfast and I got the breakfast scramble with a sausage patty on a jalapeno and cheese bagel. And it's really warm and really fluffy and I'm excited to dig in. He got the same thing, but with bacon. Oh, with bacon. And Sherry got the blueberry bagel mm -hmm. and I had a bite and it's yummy. So, good breakfast to start the day. Mm -mm -mm. All right, breakfast was delicious, but we left and we came to Aftershock, which is their favorite coffee shop here and it's so cute. And the owner, Rosie, just had a baby. She's probably not here today, but they do have a mermaid skeleton on the roof with a hat. That's pretty cool. So, I'm excited to come back here. I haven't been here, and I've been here a week and I haven't come here yet, so. <laughs> Yay, coffee time. Okay, back home now. We have coffee. I have not drank mine yet, but we're back home. Sherry has to work today, and she's working from home today, which I think is really cool. So we went out for breakfast. We got coffee, we came home. I am going on a hike with Adam later, but I do want to spray my new coats down with my waterproofer before we go. It says it takes 24 hours to dry completely. I did a test spot on this last night and it actually looks fine this morning. But it, like I said, it takes 24 hours. So I want to spray it now, this morning, cause it's, you know, like 8.30 this morning. I want to spray this and the other one so that they will have time to dry before we leave for Juno tomorrow. Because we leave for Juno tomorrow, which is really exciting. I still need to pack, but I'll do that tomorrow. You'll see that probably in tomorrow's video. Um, we're gonna be gone for like five days. We leave tomorrow night. The first, I'm gonna spray these, and then Adam and I are gonna go on a hike today. I still don't know where we're going, but I think it's gonna be great. It's a beautiful day outside. It's a little bit chilly, but I think it's gonna be nice. So, Scotch Guard, not Scotch Guard, this stuff first. All right, it is now after 10. I have finished my coffee, it's all gone. I've also done some homework. I'm trying because today's Wednesday, <laughs> losing days. Um, today's Wednesday, I'm trying to get my homework for the entire week done before we leave for Juno tomorrow night because I don't. I don't want to have to take a computer with me to Juno and Skagway. I don't want to have to rely on internet. So, trying to get everything out of the way before we go. I only have one more assignment to do, and I think it's going to be pretty easy, I think. But I have changed my shirt. I have my packable backpack unpacked out of my suitcase. It was in there. And I've got like a rain jacket in here. I have my external battery for my phone. I have extra camera batteries, sunglasses. I don't have bug spray and I don't have sunscreen. I will put sunscreen on before we go. I want to go out and check the coats that I sprayed with the not scotch guard um, and bring them inside so that they can continue to dry. But I left them out there to let them sit for a while, but I want to bring them in before we go. I think we're going to Girdwood, and I think we're going to look for a secret waterfall, which to me isn't secret if people know about it, but anyway, it's exciting. It shouldn't be like a hard hike, which is good because I've done nothing the last week. I could move a bunch of boxes if I needed to, but I don't know if I could go for a hike just because that's not something that I've, that I'm used to. So. I'm excited to get back into the group of hiking. Excited to actually use my hiking boots for the purpose that they were made for. I'm excited. Can you tell? I keep telling you I'm excited, but I am really excited. All right, before we leave town, we need a couple of things. We need bug spray and bear spray, which function in two very different ways, <laughs> but they're both very, very important. So you walk in, first thing you see is a moose fight. That's cool. And also, a really cool America shirt. Okay, I mentioned moose fight. And now I'm seeing there's a wood bison, black bear, and then beluga whales. And it goes down. Loving this, this is so cool. And yes, the whole wall looks like taxidermy. All right, bug spray acquired. Bear spray acquired. Now the way this works is you spray it on your body and the mosquitoes are supposed <laughs> to leave you alone 
bear spray does not work that way. You're supposed to spray the bear when the bear attacks you. That's exactly bear spray right. works like pepper spray. Exactly right. You don't spray yourself with pepper spray to keep people away from you. Don't do that with this either. Yeah. Bear spray is essentially pepper spray. Mm -hmm. Kind of loving all the taxidermy also over here. There are a couple bears and a porcupine in the tree. So cool. This is so cool. We have what we need, but it's a bargain cave and a really cool map of Alaska. We're going in, we're just gonna look. They have Christmas socks. I am telling myself I don't need them. I don't, I don't need them. But they're very pretty and very, very soft. Also, look at all the boots. There's a ton of boots on this wall. And like scuffed leather shoes, but who cares if they're scuffed, you're gonna wear them anyway. Nice. And some clothes. And dishes. <laughs> okay. Dishes. Cool. Seriously loving all of the taxidermy. Like, look at that guy. The caribou. Classy. And then, of course, there's the plane. Very cool. What are you trying to show me? Are these the rash guards your mom wanted with the higher neck? Yes. Right? I mean, they have a zipper. Ooh. But she said she wanted, like, the higher neck. Yep, she likes the higher neck. Now I will know to look here. Speaking of rash guards, what are you wearing? A rash guard. Auburn has me addicted to them. I love them. They're, they're so comfortable. They're perfect. Also, I kind of like this one, too. It's, like, really pretty. And then they have blue. I like it. All right, we're supposed to look at fish yeah so like there's all the taxidermy taxidermy and then they've got like the aquarium in there the fish are alive though oh yeah okay right. <laughs> you can watch them feed the fish And then these are doll sheep, right? Uh-huh. Cool. Mountain goats. I just and saw- And doll sheep up here. Oh, doll sheep up here. I just saw my first doll sheep, what, last weekend? Yeah. I didn't see any all summer long, but then I saw some last weekend, which was really cool. All right, we're gonna check out. I have bug spray, Adam has bear spray, and a t-shirt, and then- It's a gun that shoots bugs. You load it with table salt, and you like shoot them. And that sounds so much fun. Sounds like something fun to take camping. Yes, exactly. For $45? Well, Are you kidding me? Maybe not for that. Wow. All right, we were driving down Turnigan Arm and we saw all these cars stopped on its side of the road and just as Adam and I pulled up, we saw a beluga whale out here. And I was just telling Adam, every time we drive down here, I get frustrated when there right, are no whales. There are beluga whales out here. There it is. Let me see if I can zoom in. Hey, how are you, man? This is about as much as you get to see of beluga whales. They don't really breach much. All you kind of see are white bumps on the water, and please forgive the road noise. All right, we're back on the road, back in the car. We're actually driving down Turnigan Arm. Looking out the window, I can see them still, but there were at least three beluga whales out there this morning. It's what, 11.30? And it's a beautiful day. It's like 60 some degrees and sh like sunny and the sun is shining. The water is shining and the water is really, really still and flat. So it's really hard to see belugas when it's windy because all the whitecaps kind of hide or camouflage the belugas. But on a flat day like this, it's really easy to see them because they kind of stick out their big white bumps in the water. But belugas don't like really breach, right? No, what we saw is pretty much what you see just a little bit of the back. And there are some whales like humpbacks that you'll see like the tail come up and 
you get that like tail shot. Baloos don't do that. Really what you see is that white bump. That's why they're, just like Albert said, that's why they're so hard to see. I'm a beluga whale expert now. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. But that was a really exciting start to our hike today. Okay, so I'm gonna do a wildlife tally. On our drive to Seward with Desi, I saw a mama and a baby moose. I got to see doll sheep. And then now today I've seen beluga whales. And I'm not including the animals that I got to see at the conservation center because those just live there. I'm talking about like wild animals. Nobody counts on seeing whales out here in the arm. You never know. But I got lucky today. It was really exciting. All right, no more whales on the way down here. But we're about to turn into Girdwood, which is the home of Alieska Resort and Coast Pizza is right over here. We spent some time here in Girdwood last year. Adam and I did the Winter Creek Trail. We all came to Double Musky for dinner. Um, Girdwood, I think, is really fun, kind of small, but I did have a really good time here, so I'm looking forward to this hike today. All right, when you get to Girdwood, you turn right onto Timberland Road and you drive all the way to the end through a bunch of like houses, very interesting houses. There's one right here. And then, I guess you make your way up here. There are several cars here with us. So it's not just us, but go this way. And I can hear like running water, so it sounds like there's a stream, but obviously there's probably a waterfall around here too. All right, here we go. Also, I should mention, bug spray has been applied. Let's hope that it works. We're not quite to the waterfall yet, but you can see it way back there. And I love the mist coming off of it. So cool. I will say this is not a good route for anybody with any kind of mobility issues. But it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. I love how they have a little rope to keep people from walking past. Don't go this way. But I can go back here. Hold on.
in the water because it's kind of noisy, but so beautiful. This hike was really short. I didn't even start my watch. I don't think it's gonna recognize any hiking activity. Um, kind of steep, kind of rocky, but so beautiful. Very short, very worth it. I would definitely include this with another hike here in Girdwood. I don't think we're going to, but kind of can't wait to come back to Girdwood and do another hike. But now we're moving on. We're gonna go have some beer at Girdwood Brewing Company. It's time. I'm excited. All right, we made it to Girdwood Brewing. Very short drive, but look at this view. I mean, it is so beautiful out here. Also, there's some construction happening, but look how pretty. All right, ready for some beer? I'm very ready. Show me your happy dance. I, that's all I got. Don't mock me, <laughs> I wasn't saying anything. Yes, you were. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> no dogs? The last time we were here, there were dogs. Can I be a hippie? You can be a hippie today. Just for the day? Yes. Cool. It's beer time. And Adam got four cool beers, so I got four other beers. <laughs> so I could try his and try their, try the other ones. So most of mine are IPAs, and they're probably gonna be icky, but I don't care. I'm so excited, because he has promised me pizza. Yep, after this, pizza. Pizza. Also, peep my new sticker. He saw these. I didn't know they had these, and then he pulled this out of the box. Look how pretty this is, and it fits just perfectly right here, and now my phone looks like it has a bouquet of flowers. Kind of in love with it. It's not gonna live there forever, but it can live there for now. All right, it is pizza time. We're going to Coast Pizza. The T is bigger because there's a story behind the sign. This place actually used to be a tacos place. So instead of buying a new sign, they just rearranged, they rearranged tacos to make Coast Pizza. So the fun part about Coast Pizza is the pizza slices are absolutely enormous and actually really, really tasty. So we're gonna go have some. This is what makes Coast Pizza special. So a slice of pizza is basically a quarter of a pizza. Here's my hand for reference. This is gigantic and I'm very, very happy. Yes, it took that bite first, don't ask me why. The crust is actually really, really good. I got pepperoni, Adam got pepperoni and jalapeno mm -hmm. and cheese. Are you gonna make a sandwich? No, I'm gonna do them separate. Weird, I would make a pizza sandwich, like a DIY calzone. <laughs> Just saying. All right, it is 3.30, we are back home. We did see some doll sheep on the way home. Um, actually, just one. I saw one doll sheep on the way home. No more whales. And now it's time to take a shower. I smell like bug spray. <laughs> I stink like bug spray. It's not nice, I don't like it. So I need to take a shower. And then um, yesterday, Sherry and I bought some t-shirts, blank ones that we are going to design for the 4th of July. So I wanna do a little bit of like, Cricket work and maybe cut some stuff out to put on some t-shirts maybe or maybe just like find a design that I like and maybe we'll cut them out later Sherry is in Wasilla getting her hair done she's gonna look so fresh and so pretty for Skagway and Juno and I'm so excited to see what it looks like <sighs> anyway it's time for me to take a shower and then maybe I'll show you some sneak peeks of the arts and crafts I'm gonna do later maybe maybe okay it is almost, what time is it? 9.30. It's 9.30. Sherry and I have been working on some craft stuff, not Etsy stuff. We're not selling this stuff, but we did want to make some 4th of July shirts and I'm wearing mine right now. I love it so much. So she had this Mickey firework thing and so we decided let's do silver on the back and then red, white, blue on top. And so she has one and I have one, so we match now. We're totally wearing these on the 4th of July. I'm so excited. So now, we're not done. We still have a poster board to make. We needed these shirts for tomorrow because tomorrow we're leaving for Juno. We don't need the poster board until next Wednesday. Yeah, next Wednesday when the Zachmans arrive. <laughs> but um, this video has gone up after they've been here, arrived. So I can talk about it and I can show it, but... <laughs> But, you guys, we're making a welcome poster for the Zachmans. I'm so excited. We've got a blue poster board. We've got some gold 
like sticky foam. So we're gonna cut out welcome letters so that it's not like painted on or hand drawn on. I'm so excited. I love crafting with Sherry. This has been so much fun and so healing for me. I've really missed doing this with her. I love it. So I'm gonna take this off, I'm gonna fold it up and I'm gonna pack it for Juno. I'm gonna put my pajama shirt back on and then we're gonna get to work on the poster. I'm so excited, this is just, this is so fun. Okay, Sherry has gone to bed. It is what time, 11? Like 11, yeah. It's late, but we have finished our project and I can't wait to show you because I'm really, really proud of it. I think it's beautiful and I think it's something that Adam and Sherry can use for a long, long time, probably, until the glitter falls off. And we all know glitter stays with you forever. I am covered in it and I am i haven't been this happy in months, I think. Adam is in here working on his at a glance calendar, I am. which is something that I influenced him on. You did. I love an at a glance calendar. What, what is this? Hold on. I'm gonna show you so you can actually read it. It's really, really cool. They can use this for everybody. Everybody is family, welcome. So. It's the colors of the Alaska flag. It's blue and gold. It's coming off yellow on camera and also the dipper and the North Star. What? It's so cool. Thank you for your help with the design. You're welcome. It turned out, uh, it's so much better than I expected. You guys did such a good job. It's everything I wanted it to be. Also, if you're wondering, what's that dark spot by the way? <laughs> That's my handprint. <laughs> I hope it disappears. My guess is it's there forever. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. All right, anyway, I think, yeah, no, I know. This is it for this vlog. You guys will see me in another video pretty soon. The next videos you guys are gonna see are gonna be Juno videos and then Skagway videos because we're going for, going for Juno. We're going to Juno tomorrow and then Skagway after that, and then back to Juneau and Anchorage then the same day. So we're gonna be traveling a little bit in the state of Alaska. And I'm so excited to get to see more of Alaska than just Anchorage because this huge state has so many different climates in it, so many different places, so many different kinds of people. So I'm really excited to get to see Southeast Alaska, the place that most people who cruise here get to see, and I haven't gotten to see it yet, so excited about that. So that'll be the next thing you see in another vlog. But for now, I'm going to bed. I'm tired. It's time for me to brush my teeth. Good night, everybody. <laughs>